So the next question asks, how do I get into a top university like UC Berkeley? Now there are some obvious things, right? You know, you have to get good test scores, good GPA, and have tons of experience, right? But remember, that doesn't guarantee admission into a top university program. Now, I want you to think of it this way, right? Good, good grades, good scores, and um, you know, good experience. That increases your odds, right? It increases your probability to get in, but it doesn't guarantee you admissions. So we have to look at it in this way. How can we increase the odds of admissions? So if we kind of go a little further and just kind of think about yourself, right? How do I compete against someone who came from Harvard, who has better grades than me, who has better test scores than me, and has much more, many more years of experience? How do I make sure my odds are just the same as this guy from Harvard? So here, here's what we can think about. First, academically, right? Maybe you studied a different major. Maybe you had low, low grades. That's fine. Have you taken any online classes? Do you have any proof that you've taken online classes? Think about programs like edX, you know, especially if you want to apply to a school like UC Berkeley. edX has a lot of programs taught by university professors from UC Berkeley. And the whole point of having good GPAs and good test scores is to show that you can handle the academic rigor from some of these top programs. And if you've taken an online course with some of these professors already, well, that's proof that you can handle the academic rigor, right? The second thing you have to think about is um, the amount of professional experience that you have. And that's, a lot of, that's some of the problems that some of these students have asked when they, when they ask about professional experience. So, well, just think about yourself, right? Have you been in any sports team, any extracurricular activities? In your classes, have you done any projects or research? That itself can be considered professional experience, right? And you have to think about a little further, right? For example, there was someone in my graduate school program that said she wanted to uh, transition into public policy, but she never mentioned her work experience at Goldman Sachs because she thought it was not relevant to government-related work. But come on, Goldman Sachs, think about it, finance. That's a huge part of government work. So why, did, why don't you mention those, those experiences, right? And that's why I always tell some of these students, list out all of your experiences and pick out some key areas that you think that can, that, that can apply to the program that you are trying to go for. Now, some people might say, I only had experience in dance. Well, is it dance production? Because if it's dance production, that's, those are key leadership and management skills that you can apply. That's different, isn't it? Now, the third part, um, and this is probably the part that would make you more unique, your personal experience. Some people say, you know, I'm not interesting. You know, I don't think there's anything that the admissions would care about. Think about it. Most of the people who are applying to US programs, especially the ones that we are helping at ProWrite, they're international students. International students, you bring a lot of unique experiences that some people in the admissions committee probably never experienced in their entire life, right? Think about how big Asia is, how many dialects there are in China. These are all unique to us. It might not be unique to you, but it's definitely unique to your school and the program that you're trying to apply for. So remember, you're trying to think about what makes you stand out, right? What makes you unique, not to yourself, but from people in the admissions committee. And ultimately, you want them to, again, to remember you.